leaving John Day. 50 degrees out, 6.30 in the morning. Supposed to get hot today. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, David. Morning, Mark. Good morning. Where's the duck? Right here. Oh, yeah. 6.46 in the morning, 46 degrees, we're at 3,000 feet, we've got 80 miles to go. Good idea wearing the hat today, David. <laughs> I should have worn it. Yeah, it's a bit cold under the Right into the sun. Yeah. Teresa. Mm -hmm. Morning. Morning. That's a light speed? Well, yeah. Yeah. Just had it built about two months ago. So are you do you live around Lake Hot Tahoe or why'd yeah. you do I live about an hour and a half, two hours from there. Down the hill from there. Near oh. Sacramento. Okay, sure. So I'm an hour Southeast of Sacramento, two hours. Yeah. South of Southern. And it's 7.46 a.m. <laughs> well, we've got three big climbs today. Oh, no, is that Jack? Good morning, Jack. Hey, sir. How you doing? Great. Morning, Rule. Morning, Brooke. Morning, Nikki. You're fresh often. <laughs> there she goes. And here's the wagon. Almost on top of the hill. We've got another thousand feet of climb. Temperature's coming up rather rapidly. We have no wind. It's a beautiful day in Oregon. There goes Chris. Well, we're at 4,800 feet. 400 feet left. A climb, another mile and a half. But there's two more peaks. downhill from the first peak. We've got about three miles to our say and the bottom of the hill. Feel that cool breeze coming off of these uh, trees. 63 degrees but feels colder. Uh, this is the control burn that they are talking about, making all that smoke. It's amazing they can control it. Yeah, there's some flames there. There's a control burn. Fortunately, the winds that are back. Live flames over there. So 
sure is strange that they can do a controlled fire like this without the whole thing coming down. Yeah, I mean, it looks like they're just kind of burning the excess uh, needles off of the floor. Yeah, it's not the purpose. The purpose is all the little seals don't change. Yeah. Those things are ladder seals. Ah, I see. They shouldn't be there. Naturally, hundreds of forests are open like this. They're not like this. That's it, you know. So yeah. You just don't let them burn enough, so. No, we can. So, yeah. They want those ladder fields, that brush and anything that can get super hot because if it gets into the crown, then it's gone. Yeah, the crown fire around my house, the insurance guy said it was 2,500 degrees. That's hot. The regular house fire is 1,500. Look right there. And a guy saw my house go up, didn't even like, wouldn't like, fire came along the ground, went up the walls, or stuff came from the 50 mile an hour winds and and dropped on the house and caught it on fire. My house went like a marshmallow. Really? You're in a fire and it immolates, it just goes poof. Wow. That's what happened. Yeah. How did percent of my house was in gold and flame when it went? Old lava flows. Kind of like Devil's Tower. Dave? And then you go around and put them all out. And we, we, we secure the perimeter like this. my mom and dad got it. So, two days. Mm -hmm. Very smoky. Not good for visuals. Nikki, oh, she's the one that hit this deer here. Whoops. I can see why that husband of yours is ahead of you. Is he caught sight of Swaby? That's why. He passed. He passed me going up a hill like this, yeah. like I was standing still. I know. He's yeah. amazing. Well, we're all crazy. He's just crazy good. You're a hard woman to catch. Oh, I'm tired. <laughs> My butt hurts. Yes, there is that. It's so hard to be motivated when you know you're going to sit on that saddle again. <laughs> <laughs> it just isn't going to feel good. Like they had some mining over there. Mm. The narrow gauge railroad looks like it's used for mining. Sumter Valley Railroad. You and Depot and Museum. And we have a little lake here.
seven miles to go to Baker City. There you go.